Never go hiking without insect repellent because whoo, you may love nature, but man, nature loves me. Hi, welcome to another video from CardboardEast.com. My name is Jay. I play board games from Asia and share what I find with all of you. Today we're going to talk about vegetable stock. I love vegetable stock. I think it's an excellent filler. It does everything the filler should. You probably heard about it. But today I'm also going to tell you about why I love veggie stock and why I think this is a better game. Okay, ready for the quickest teach ever? Well, vegetable stock in this deck though will consist of five different vegetables. It'll be tomato, carrot, corn, broccoli, and eggplant. Uh, these cards are double-sided, but oh, the only thing different is that it changes between Chinese and English on top. And you're going to take these five cards here and you're going to put them down in this particular order. Five, four, three, two, and one. It really doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, this could be five, this could be one, or it could be a mix of the other. You just need a nice even spread. Then you're going to take cards from the deck and you're going to flip them over a uh, number of players for, let's say, for a three-player game, plus one. Then you're going to go in order and each player is going to take one of these cards and draft them into their hand. Now, uh, you're supposed to take the cards into your hand and then keep it face down so that no one else can see it, or you could just hold it in your hand, uh, preventing other players from seeing it. Then each player is going to take one card, and the card that's left over is going to affect the market. So you can see here that corn is two corn, so that goes up one, so three goes to five, and then carrot has one carrot here, and that carrot will come up one here. And then basically you just wash, rinse, and repeat uh, six more times. And once again, you'll do number of players, plus one, flip it all over. Uh, starting player will rotate around the table, and then you'll just draft. And say, let's say they draft this, this, and this. Well then, what's gonna happen here is, well, broccoli's gonna go up one, and then now carrot is gonna go up twice. I'm sorry, tomatoes is gonna go up twice. But as you see here, carrot's already at five. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna go up to five, and then crash here at one and they go up one more to, to one. So all of these is uh, zero to five and if it gets up to five and it needs to increase again it's going to crash back to zero and then slowly start creeping up again. And you're going to do this uh, wash rinse repeat uh, six times so at the end of the game you'll have six cards in your hand and the price will be fluctuating throughout the course of the game and you'll count up, I have one, two, three, four, five, ten 10 tomatoes, 10 times one is 10, and you'll add up all of these. Whoever has the highest score uh, wins the game. And that's pretty much all you need to know. Now, some people want to play with their hands open so everyone can see, but I find that that adds uh, too much AP for what this game is. In addition, if you're really curious about the content of the deck, um, basically all the deck is each suit has uh, eight cards in it. So it's broccoli, two broccoli, and one eggplant, two broccoli, and one corn, two broccoli, one carrot, two broccoli, uh, plus uh, tomato. So that's one suit of eight times five. In addition to that, uh, each suit also has a triple. So one card has triple eggplant or aubergines, if that's what you like to call them, or three broccoli, three corn, yada, yada, yada. Now, in addition to this, uh, the vegetable stock uh, should come with two promos and that's the sun and the typhoon if the sun gets flipped another card will get flipped and an additional card so that means that after the draft has taken place there'll be two cards that affect the market instead of one uh, now in addition to that the typhoon uh, has a nice little symbol here that means that if it goes up to five and it gets more then well the market won't crash uh, that turn and that's is vegetable stock. One more thing that I also want to mention is that vegetable stock has uh, two ways to play the game. If you notice here, you have a zero, one, two, three, four, five. Well, you flip it over and there's the dynamic market. And the dynamic market plays the exact same way. The only difference is that you go zero, one, two, three, and then you jump immediately to five. And that's a little bit different. It definitely does change the feel of the game, but not too much. Now, earlier in the video, I said that I like vegetable stock, but I like cutting edge board game uh, collector even more. That's Xin Rei Zhuo Yo, Chou Changjia. So it's like cutting edge, like hotness, new, 
uh, board game and collector. And this is pretty much the exact same game as vegetable stock. Let me show you quickly how to play. So naturally in vegetable stock, you're collecting vegetables, but in cutting edge board game collector, you're collecting uh, board games instead. So instead of vegetables, you have uh, board games that are puzzle thematic and other kids games, strategy games, party games, and family games. Uh, once again, these are uh, double sided, but the only difference is that the Chinese is on top and the English is on bottom or vice versa. And, but the most important thing is that you'll see here that the market cards are a little different. Instead of having it staggered of uh, like five, four, three, two, and one, all of them are gonna start at five. And you're gonna play the exact same way. So number of players uh, plus one, so in a four player game, you add one more card, you flip over the cards over, and now you can see instead of vegetables, you see uh, board games. And these are all uh, board games, uh, typically in Taiwan, but the, you do have some uh, foreign games. So like here you can see Reef Rescue, and Reef Rescue is from uh, Singapore. And then players are gonna draft these cards and put them into their hand. If whether or not you wanna play with hands open or hands closed is completely up to you. I, I think that keeping it open is a little bit too much AP for what this game is, but essentially it'll be the same thing. So in a four players game, let's say everyone drafts this, and then the only one card left over here, well, and that's going to affect the market. So you see two family games. Well, this is going to go down for five, four, and three. And then you have one uh, puzzle thematic game, and that's going to go down one here. And then uh, wash, rinse, repeat, and you're going to do this for six rounds. Well, how is this different? Well, unlike uh, vegetable stock, uh, Ken and Edge Board Game Lecture uh, doesn't have the promo cards of the tornado or the sun. And the markets are a little bit different. The the deck is the exact same thing. So like there are nine cards per suit. Uh, but if you notice here, the market cards go five, four, three, two, one, zero. And then at zero, it's going to flip. And then it goes seven, six, five, three, one, zero. So essentially is that all these cards are gonna try to crash and you're gonna try and crash whichever one you're collecting and get it to seven and hopefully make it stay at seven, maybe six and five. So you're pushing really close to zero, and then hopefully you get up to seven without it crashing back down uh, again to zero. And you can see here in the bottom, it kind of reminds you like this little zero here. There's a little bullhorn that says, hey, hey, flip to seven. And then it has all these uh, expletives here uh, in emoji at the bottom. And that essentially is the difference between uh, vegetable stock and cutting edge board game collector. Now let's get right to it. Component wise is, yeah, these cards are good quality. Not lint finish, but I don't think they really need to be for this style of game. Art wise, now I know some people didn't really care for the art of vegetable stock, and I, I don't know why, because it's very bright, it's colorful. I really like it a lot. Now for cutting edge board game collector, uh, the art is a little bit not as cartoony, so it doesn't really pop or stand out, but it's nice to see other board games here. And, and at the end of the day, yeah, it's just kind of like an advertisement, but. I think that both are fine. I do like vegetable socks more because the art is just more bright and colorful. In terms of UI or user interface, like basically how the card is laid out for players to read, vegetable stock is a clear winner here because not only are the vegetables very clear, very distinctive from each other, uh, it's not that much so with the games. It is a little bit to a little extent, but I spend most of the time just looking at the icons here in the corner and not at the whole picture of the card itself. The gameplay, the, the actual mechanics are the exact same thing. Like you're just drafting, you're collecting a card, and then it's done. You do that six times and the game is over. Some people have played to where the cards you collect are face open. And I find that to be not as interesting because it adds way too much analysis paralysis. Everyone is looking at each other. And I think it's just easier for people just to remember and just keep the cards in their hand. The only negative thing I have to say about vegetable stock is that, well, it's it's a little bit of a pain to score at the end. It's just like, okay, here we are at the end, and then everyone takes out their calculator and does all the calculations, and this, you just have to say your score. And that is a little fiddly, and I wish there were a, a better system to that, because the rest of the game is so smooth and fast, and it just crutches down to that end game score, which is uh, takes a little bit longer than I would like it to be. But this is why I think this is a perfect filler, and that the teach is less literally less than a minute and you play the game in about 10 to 15 minutes and then you can play again and you can play again and again and again 
and it's very, very approachable. There is not much to the teach and the play of this game. But even though it's just a deck of cards, it allows the players to have some really interesting decisions. And seeing that market go up, up, up and crash is always a lot of fun. Now, even though they are virtually the same game, I gotta say that I really like the market cards from Cutting Edge Board King Collector a lot more. I find it going from five to zero and trying to push your luck to flip the card over to get it to seven to be a lot of fun. Now, Vintage Stock does come with two markets. It has five, four, three, two, one, and the Nymec market, which is five, three, two, one, zero. So there's a little bit of a difference there, but I love, I just like this more. I find this pushing your luck to get to five, to zero, to flip to seven. I find that to be a lot more fun. Now, I will say that vegetable stock is pretty easy to find. Uh, TBD has a website and they have like a warehouse in Europe. So it is a lot easier to find. And in addition to that, it is an add-on on the Taiwan Night Market uh, Kickstarter campaign that's going on right now as I'm filming. Now, Cutting Edge Board Game Collector is a little bit harder to find, but there's nothing to stop you from uh, making your own market cards and just sticking them in here. Now, the truth is, is that while I like this more, it's only for the market cards. So I just keep these market cards in my vegetable stock box. And I offer this as a variant of play to players. And I think they like it just as much. The stock market going down is different because it makes more sense in the board game theme. But it's just nice that now instead of two modes to play uh, vegetable stock, I now have three. And I have a market that I find a lot more interesting and I really love that push your luck mechanic. Now what's interesting about vegetable stock is not only is it so fast and so approachable that I really think that this is one of those games that's going to stand the test of time pretty well. Like I think people will still be playing this game many, many years from now because it's just so simple and it's so approachable. And if a game with that much longevity, I think it's worth it to try and find this as well. Gun Age Board Game Collector is a really fun niche find. And once again, like there's no reason to stop you from just making your own market cards and then sticking them, you know, in the box. Once again, gamers, my name's Shay. I play board games from Asia and share it fine with all of you. Please stick around, go up here to some links to see some of the other videos that I think you'll enjoy. See you there.